Okay, I have some questions from a prospective buyer who wanted some questions answered about the Dragon Tamer. Here we have an MSR 2 liter pot. It's a stainless steel, it's an older variety. It's one I picked up off of eBay. It's a 2 liter pot. Here we have a Dragonfly stove with the um, bell attachment bar going through the bell on this one as opposed to being brazed underneath as the older ones were it's currently fitted with a dg uh, jet which is a, a gas jet um, to fold the stove up we simply turn our legs like this and fold it up like this and it will snap onto the housing and in the upright position like this it fits very nicely very low in the pan you see very low in the pan and there's plenty of room for the lid to go on fits fine the question i had received was is it possible for the stove to fold up with a dragon tamer cap in place and the answer is yes we put the dragon tamer cap in place swivel the stove around you can see it goes all the way upside down because that is what the questioner was interested in will it go upside down Yes, it will go upside down. That's an unusual configuration, not normally done. Um, and I, I question why you would want to do that, because if you put that like that, you can see it actually sticks up higher out of the pan than it would otherwise. But whatever. So the point is that with the Dragon Tamer cap in place, you can see that the stove does swivel all the way around upside down, or will assume the normal setting which would be like this that I was trained by the folks from MSR to uh, to do um, some of the reps at MSR so this is the way you do it so you can see that that works just fine and uh, not a problem Oops. not a problem to fold your stove up okay and here I've taken that same cap put it on the Dragon Tamer and lit it up. It's running at a, a moderate level now. We can go up to high flame. Uh, you can see that the, the noise level, well, you just have to <laughs> believe. I, I don't have noise meters to test with. I, I think I have one on order, but it isn't here. Uh, most people are saying half to a third, depending all on when, you know, at what level you're running the cap at does that fantastic Bernie Dog simmer that most uh, manufacturers are having a hard time doing um, because they don't know what they're doing. I mean, <laughs> sad, but it's true. Um, so there it is. Once again, it does swivel in the burner just to show I'm not putting any anything over on anyone. I don't lie. I'm not a liar like there are some people out there who lie. You can see, whoop, here, let me get that leg out of the way. You can see it, it spins all the way around, not a problem. Okay, if, now that this is cool, if you feel that you gotta have a securing method to secure the cap in place, I have a step-by-step -step, um, pictorial uh, with pictures uh, um, demonstration on a well-known website um, and I'll give you a link to that here's here's what I do first is I use my my needle nose pliers to put a little hook in here I hook it in to the uh, the opening here on the stove hopefully you can see that right hooks in there I come across and I sort of guesstimate about what it's still hot <laughs> that's still really hot all right well Look at the things I do. I guesstimate where it's going to end up at. I put another hook in the other side. And I bring that around like that. I bring it across the top of the cap. Slide that guy in there. Stick that in there like that. There you go. So it's hooking on. And then 
I take a pair of, of pliers, here's a pair of pliers, and I come in on top here, get my hands out of the way so you can see, and I just crimp this wire around like that to draw it tight. Now it's going to hold it in place. See? Very simple. It's going to hold that in place so it's not going to go anywhere. And you can turn it upside down all you like and it'll hold it in place. Very simple. To undo it, not a big deal. If you need to undo it, you grab your handy multi-tool or pair of pliers. Well, actually, just let's do this. That's the easiest way. Just grab that crimp and uncrimp it, straighten it out. And you should be able to pop that off. Excuse me, sorry my hands are so big in the way again. Pop that off like that. And there you go, the cap comes off again. So, if you really got to secure it, that's the way to do it. I can send along a piece of stainless steel wire if that's important to you. For you to do, you could do that. There you go.